like we got a lot closer in the past three months in these yeah. 75 days mm -hmm. and i don't know if that's because it's new sober tana that you yeah. know i'm able to deal with you because i remember like way way back when you were like hitting on me aggressively and you were out drinking every night. Hitting on you aggressively is crazy. Yeah, yeah. You take things like so seriously. Would, oh my God. You would FaceTime me and you'd be like, I'm coming over right now. That's not true. <laughs> I swear. That's you don't not remember. true. You don't remember. That's it. I would FaceTime. He used to be out on the corner. He was dealing in drugs. Got himself a barber's chair and gave off some cuts. Now he's a podcaster. His life, he'll talk about it with us. And now it's Jeff <laughs> wow look at her she's back hold I'm, on let me get this off hi pretty princess you're looking good thank you single am i allowed to say that you're allowed to say single? that or did you want to save that single. for your own show now i talked about it in the pilot of canceled anyways okay i got it on tiktok i saw this guy the other day i was tagged in a photo right and you know how like shitty fucking brands this probably happens to you sorry to the brands but like shitty brands when they're trying to put exposure on their clothing will like tag a million people in it it'll be like Hailey Bieber Lele Pond yeah. you me wh whoever yeah. like just to whatever I was going through my tag photos the other day and there was this a photo of a model wearing clothing but it was like the hottest guy I've ever seen in my entire life oh you posted a TikTok about this right yes like trying to track down this man I like posted on my Instagram story everyone's like oh Tina you're so funny no I want to know who this man is mm -hmm. and so that was kind of how I announced I was single which is like a complete and utter mess like all the comments were like aren't you taken I'm yeah like, you know how I found out how because everybody tagged me in the comments of that they were like this is not Jeff yeah. What the fuck? I just he but had a forehead. Damn. He had a forehead tattoo that said "Hardcore Vibes." I guess so now's <laughs> now's my chance, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's what all my comments are. It's actually so fucking. For it. I only get one shot. Yeah, it's so annoying. One you know? opportunity. Yeah. Um, to seize everything comments. I ever wanted. <laughs> no one's like, oh, Tana, like, how'd your breakup go? Like, you're single. Like, what's up? Like, how do you feel? It's like, it's Jeff's time to shine. It's my time. It's my oh time. My See, Why don't you guys just do it for the culture? Just for like a week. Just go for it. For That's honestly so funny. For like one week, like a fucking video. Yeah. <laughs> what? I think we'd end so up killing good. each other and then we'd prove our entire point. You oh, know? These hurt my head. I worry about our differences in interests, you know? He's gonna want to run, and then I'm gonna want to like rot in bed, and it's gonna be like. I, yeah, I've been running too much. Contrary lately. to popular belief, we actually have nothing in common. That's what makes it work. I feel like. Yeah. You so know. In love with me. You're kind of right, though. Like yin and yang. That's our, at least our friendship how it works. I say I want this magical woman out there that does. Not MMA <laughs> and she likes going for jogs every day. Is that and like what you're? You want an MMA girl? Yeah, but then, you know, if I get a girl that's a runner or does MMA, then she's going to have blisters all over her feet like I do, you know, and I'm not going to. And that, I, you know, you just can't marry a woman with blisters on her feet. That would just no, be I so mean, embarrassing. No, I mean, like, my, to my toenails are destroyed. If a woman had a foot like mine. Can I see your foot? I mean, yeah. Without a sock, like, show me no. your toenails. It's bad. I've, sh I've showed you before. I didn't. I don't remember. It's fucking gross. Show Can me. I show you after the show? No. <laughs> show me. Oh, my God. This is what we're doing today, huh? And we only have like a half hour with Tana. Oh, look at that thing. Let me see your toenails. Honestly, it's not your toenails. Your second toe is a little, a little wonky, but... It's, it's, my, it's my genetic build of my foot. You know, you can make some money off those. You know how I have a fans agency? Yeah. Technically a talent agency, but for the most part, um, TAA. And this week we've been like recruiting people again. Like I was taking on clients for a while and then I didn't want to like overwhelm myself and like the team. Still not doing it. I'm back recruiting um, people again. So I've been like texting Bryce Hall. Like, why won't you do it? Sounds like all these fucking people um, trying to recruit them and sign them. And I just, I wish you would so badly. Yeah, I just can't get into it right now. I Sorry. feel like the only way I could get you to do it is if I like went full blown toxic manipulation. Like, do it for me. <laughs> like, no, that won't work. The fuck. <laughs> if you show me a giant check with like this is how much you could actually make, and it was like a number that was insane. Wait, really? What? What would you have to make monthly to do it? A billion dollars. Oh no, actually, oh, I wanted a real answer. A million dollars. A if I was making like Corinna money, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, full blown show my app. Uh, uh. 500K a month, you show nothing. 500K a month? Or not nothing. <laughs> it's going to show it all. <laughs> I, I, damn. I don't really care about money like that. Earlier on FaceTime, we're like on FaceTime, and I'm like, he's talking 
amongst them, but I'm like there, you know, and he's like, yeah, we'll just have Tan on. She's the money anyways. <laughs> yes, like, yes, he does. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you have to go after this? I'm going to a dinner. And you have to be there at what time? Honestly, it literally starts like soon, in, like 10 minutes, but I'll just be late. Oh, was I invited? What is this? I Honestly, the we heck? need to start hanging out more. I don't even think we've had a conversation for longer than 20 seconds. <laughs> That's sad. That's out of the pocket. Yeah. If I talk about you very highly. Yeah, you do. Like if anyone brings you up, I'm like, I love him. Yeah, you're great. I thought you actually peed in your own mouth and I was about to start pitching old fans to you. I was like. He did. <laughs> did he? <laughs> yes. Piss or water? What's a big deal? It's just pee. Bro, if Steven so did it, did. it'd be So you did. Yeah, exactly. If, uh, Johnny, so you did. Johnny Knoxville did it. They still get laid. Like what? Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm not them, but. Well, I just love how it immediately goes to they still get laid. Like, yeah, people might fuck you, but like. What if you want a job, a corporate they, job? Look, yeah, oh, I'm look. just a pyramid of Mykonos I, I, or Hawaii. With Cody, I'm going to travel to bro. I, need, to, but I don't need, need, I don't need money to go there. You're going to have to sell your fucking no, feet pics to live there. I He's will. about to be posted up. And I'll up. start a whole new life without anything. And I'll disappear. Okay. But you did pee in your own mouth. Well, look, all the boys were back in the barbershop. We didn't have a guest. It was just Churley's. He was getting a crazy haircut. <laughs> you literally I had a guest. It was St. Sa- Patrick's Day. So, you know, we had like, we had a little fun. We were partying. Yeah. And Stephen went overboard. I was going out after. So I was like, how Fuck clear it. was like, the P1 to 10? 10. Clear. clear. It was clear. Yeah. It was clear. But that means you're I'm healthy. Oh, you're healthy. Yeah. That's what that means. Good for you. Just do what you want. Live life. Whatever, Stephen. Look, we love you, I'm for, proud of you for who you are. And I don't think it affects your life. And somebody commented, they were like, How's Steven ever going to get a job? Like, how's he going to go on a job interview? And they pull up this clip of you peeing in your mouth. Yeah. And I was like, look, I will employ Steven for the rest of his life if that's what he wants. But then I, I figured you were going to see that and you're going to be like, I don't work for Jeff. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. No, so then I, I corrected. Just, I was like, buddy, don't work for me after. I would just like kill myself. Can I be I honest with you? I want to see it. it. Me pee in my Live? mouth? Yeah. Enough, enough. We did it once and it goes I'm, all I'm over the floor. I'm not even saying right now. Maybe I, maybe I want to do this on my own time. I need to be drunk okay. to do it. I need to be drunk to do it. Do you? I need to get really Understandably drunk. Understandably so, I need to get actually. Some, there's dizzies in me. When I do the dizzy seltzer, that's the whole campaign. Oh like, God, I'm taking their so budget. Drunk. How about this? Check this one out, okay? Okay. When we do dizzy seltzer, we're going to have a whole fucking campaign oh, budget. Dizzy seltzer? And then you're going to piss in your mouth. That's going to be the whole campaign. And we're going to use the money to go to Mykonos. We're going to run away together. And we're going to post like Cody and Sapphire. I'm going to be so fucking cute. Drone shot what? whole nine. You're going to be pissing in your mouth. In Mykonos. <laughs> down. I told you we, sh- we should have left that in. You know, oh, you were yeah. like, yo, should that really oh, did go you in? cut it out too? No, 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 no. We didn't cut that out. I mean, at that point, at least like it's for content. At least like leave it in, you know? Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm not opposed. Did you yeah. see the impulsive episode that we did? Yeah, I I was telling you this on the phone, but um, I was sitting down there with the energy that they were just going to cut everything. Like, I was like, oh, like, you know what I mean? So I was just talking out my fucking asshole. And then, of course, it's like all on the Internet. And I was like, oh, Mm -hmm. great. Like, I'm like, Wampa, no, like, no, you were funny. Clowning Lele. She's coming in like after her wedding day. I'm like, congrats. you were funny. And you also said that you would never be with me because you're not that blind, which is crazy. (laughs) You say shit like that all the time, too. You use that joke more than me. If anything, if I got to deal with this shit, I should be able to make jokes. If anything, I say Jeff wants to be with me because he's blind. Same joke, just worded a little different. (laughs) Whatever, who gives a fuck? Um, Another little thing we got on the list here. Great transition. Let's just get to it. Um, BFFs podcast. BFFs. You know how you told us on the show that you were you were dating. (laughs) Brianna Chicken Fry? Yeah, it was a complete joke, by the way. We haven't been talking. <laughs> this is the most awkward thing ever. I thought this was going to be funny, and it was so unbearable to watch. I don't want to watch it. I can't listen to this. Jeff Wittick's producer loves Brie. <laughs> producer. <laughs> 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 Why does he? The producer revealed he's a big fan. You just came from another podcast. Mm-hmm. Brianna Chicken Fry. Mm-hmm. Is that how you say it? Chicken Fry? Mm-hmm. Oh, you did? She's on BFFs. <laughs> we just did a little episode, yeah. <laughs> Do you love her? I have a crush on her. Oh. She is everything. I see why. Yeah. She's a cutie. You fucking with the new tits. Cody's too. always on his phone. Uh, no, I she, think uh, I was yeah, high yeah. here. Like, I have no energy. Like a couple months ago. Maybe like six. Like four and a half months ago. <laughs> <laughs> we got no one laughs. Look, no one laughs. Yeah, we've been talking. Oh, we had a <laughs> joke. <laughs> I mean, the vape talking. smoke, the vape, is, is the fucking talking? dragon blow. Like I like Sexually? Sexually? <laughs> Is he touched? What like, what do you mean? Yeah. Oh, like, slow. was he like touched? <laughs> like, by like, like, what are you saying? I, I, I couldn't tell. It's like, are you? I think it's a you, bit. Then he's very good. He's, he's very. Funny. Oh, that's what you're asking. Oh, you thought yeah, it, yeah, it was yeah. he touched as a kid? 
Yeah, I was. No, like, no, 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 no. What's that have to do with touch. anything? Like, no, no, no. Anything. I don't mean like. I don't mean touched like molested. If that's what you're saying. <laughs> what I mean the? like touched Whoa. like a that touch of down. Yeah. Ow. That's an older phrase. Touched. Yeah. Ow. I don't think he's touched. No, he's funny. Um, he's what? very funny. Yeah, he DM'd me, but he's funny. Yeah. <laughs> He is. He is. I, he is fun. Honestly, you, I said you might be. In I there. told her she looks like the white Carrie Hilson, and I sent her a picture. Right, this is just this girl from I forgot the music video. I don't know, and then she said that's an observation for sure, and that was it. Honestly, okay. but I in think, my head, that's like a I think lot you of should, progress. I think you should take this bit home. Like you should just start telling everyone you're dating her. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's pretty. That's, talking. that's a there, big you step. Guys, yeah. You guys are, you guys talking. are talking. She said that's an observation for sure. She responded, and then she followed me back. Did I was you, so hyped. I Did love you her. keep DMing? No. Well, no. I like. I got scared and I liked it. Keep I don't know going. What to say. I think you hi. should say something. You should say hi, baby. Bro, hi, baby. I don't know why. Yeah. Why you're saying that's cringe? Yeah, yeah they, they're complimenting your acting skills. That's what you do well, for no, a living. No, when I made the joke in the video, she just there was everyone just had blank face, faces. When I was like, <laughs> she got a boob job like four and a half months ago. I don't. I didn't even know she had a boob job. I just that was the joke. It's like I. Oh, you accidentally I nailed like I was the a month? mega fan, and I knew the exact month. And you accidentally got it exactly right? No, I don't know. I don't know when she got a boob job. But I just went Probably with it. Like she seemed like a mega fan, ago. and no, and that was the joke. Maybe that didn't come off like a, as a joke, but no one laughed, and it, it was just hard to watch. Keep trying. So you want me to say hi, baby? I think you should say the hi, baby. baby? Mm, or a little like, aggressive there. Be like, I am touched. <laughs> I am <laughs> touched. Thanks, bathroom boy. <laughs> like an emoji? Yeah, like a red heart. Red heart. <laughs> just the single heart or the three little ones i think just it's two little ones but right. a red heart yeah yeah dm josh while you're at it too Fuck yeah it. just say Tell yo him, fight me no, no i'm just kidding no. i don't know i like josh jeff when you slide into girls dms what's your go-to i don't i don't yes, do that do. stuff oh my god you make me sick i genuinely don't you're so boring <laughs> sometimes i'll respond i'll i'll respond to some i love sliding in people's dms you wouldn't know you would hear this you have friends you know everybody you're friends with everybody in this business you would know they'd be like oh jeff slid in have you ever heard that yeah absolutely bullshit <laughs> oh i think even have i ever heard the term slid in dms i don't know no you really don't exactly ever i'm asking you really don't i don't I this don't lie. So fun. Are you on like dating apps? I think you're on Hinge. Someone sent me a screenshot. That's a fake profile. Obviously, it says 24 years old, and I you go to hell for lying. You know that, right? I am on Summer, but that's because it's the best dating app there is. <laughs> Speaking of Summer, I'd like to cut to today's sponsors. Summer. If you're spending all your nights at home alone watching old Jeff FM episodes, it's probably time you put yourself out there. Summer is a dating app, and they're here to help you go on more real dates. You're probably wondering, how is Summer different than other dating apps? Instead of going through profiles one by one, you see an explore page of single people nearby, and you pick who catches your eye. Summer is the dating app you won't keep deleting and re-downloading. I'm partnering with Summer because I actually want you to meet real people in real life, instead of starting chats that will never leave the app. Download Summer now and you'll find someone to watch Jeff FM with, so you don't have to do it alone, without having to re-download or a let Summer take your dating life to the next level and get you more first dates. Summer's offering a free week of Summer Plus for the first 100 people who use the code Jeff after signing up. Head over to the App Store or Google Play Store to download Summer and use code Jeff. That's Summer on the App Store or Google Play Store and use code Jeff. I'm on there. Look at me. There I am. Jeff. That's my only real dating app profile. If you see any other ones, those are fake accounts. Like the one Tana was just talking about, that's a fake account. We will debunk that right now. Um, but all right, thank you, someone, for sponsoring the show. Now back on with it. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing really good. Yeah. Um, I'm almost done with 75 hard, 75 soft. Let's be real. So, um, how much time till you could go drink, eat a fucking Big Mac, do whatever I want? Yeah. Um, like 13 days. And do you have a six plan? Six hours, do you have a five plan? minutes. Like how you're gonna celebrate? How are you gonna break the 75? Well, I mean, Coachella is like right after. Okay. So I'm assuming I'll have a little fun at Coachella. <laughs> but no, we're going to Coachella together. So I think that scares him. Um, but I, th I still feel like I'll take like mushrooms. I know. I think it'll shit. be funny. I can't wait. Like we got a lot closer in the past three months, in these yeah. 75 days. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's because it's new sober Tana that, you yeah. know, I'm able to deal with you. Because I remember like way, way back. When you were like hitting on me aggressively and you were out drinking every night. Hitting on you aggressively is crazy. Yeah, yeah. You take things like so seriously. Would, oh my God. You would FaceTime me and you'd be like, I'm coming over right now. That's not true. <laughs> I swear. That's you don't not remember. true. You don't remember. That's it. I would FaceTime you and be like, I'm coming over. Yeah. 
But we never I met up or lying. anything. I think, I, you're lying. I think it's your personality too, and you were just like, "Where are you? Like, I'm fucking coming there right now." I'm you're going making to, this what it is. I'm going you're to making Scott, this what it and isn't. I'm coming over. I don't know. It's like one time. Oh, I think that's when you were you dating the, like, the neighbor too. You were like messing around with the neighbor. Oh, maybe before you and I were ever like like close. Yeah, yeah, way back. Oh, way back. like back in the day, I could see myself being like, "Where are you? Like, let's link." But then I got to know you, and then like you know. Yeah, realize that we're a better partnership duo or a better comedy duo than Coachella will be my first kind of I can't wait. moment and we'll see how that goes I'm a little low energy right now what'd you do today we rode bikes this morning at like 5 a.m does that ever hurt like your butthole yeah it does that's why you have to wear the shorts with the padding <laughs> on the ass yeah and like the nuts it's embarrassing the outfits but you get used to it and then you start to like you know have a little fun with it like I you- can't ride a bike seriously Mm-mm, I can't you can't drive a car. You can't ride a bike. Yeah. How do you live? I can ride a dick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said it just to make him uncomfortable. I'm so sorry. Seriously. Um, I can't ride a bike, though. I just have trust issues. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, my God, like I'm holding on. And then people let go and then you fall. Why would you do it again? It's just like I don't I don't have it in me. So you never like did the whole training wheels thing as a child? No. <laughs> Maybe. Do you maybe the training wheels. Do you want to learn how to ride a bike? Not really. Like I'm, I, but I. The other day I tweeted like it is. It would be weird if I died not knowing how, right? Yeah. Like I should maybe. <laughs> maybe when I'm in my 30s, I'll get into cycling. So you know how we have the we have these bikes all over the house, right? Yeah. So we have the bike right at the front door. Cody bought this brand new bike. It's like eight thousand dollars. It's like a Ferrari of bikes. This Some is people what I come- imagine like after a girl has sex with you and you guys are laying in bed. Like this is what I imagine. <laughs> no, you so, so listen, it's not about that. It's not about that. Okay. We have some people come over and one of the it's Mike and Yeah. There's a baby there. A baby comes in. Okay. With them with the mother. And the baby goes to play with the bike, like he sees the bike and it pulls the bike over and the bike falls on the baby. Oh my <laughs> God. Mike, Mike Blake goes, Griffin's going to sue. Mike goes, oh, don't worry about it. Those bikes are super light. They're carbon fiber. The kid's going to be fine because <laughs> the bike's like a fancy bike, but the bike still crushed the child. The kid's dead. Now. I saw, yeah, rip, seriously. <laughs> I saw the photos of you guys with her baby though, and they were super sweet. I feel like Mike, I just, I like selfishly want him to just fully step into the stepdad role. Same. Yeah. I love them together. I I actually really like Lana. She's, she's Mm. a super cool person. Good mom. Besides the bike falling on her kid when she first walked in the house immediately. Did it make you want a kid? No, I I don't know. I think I'm going to get a dog soon. Are you? I think I'm going to get another Frenchie probably. Really? Yeah. I'm going to start watching my friend's Frenchie, that little one, Jelly, the little little girl dog little girl gray frenchie i put her on my snapchat once in a while if you you know <laughs> you watch that but um I'm yeah sorry, he, he's gonna drop her off snapchat. tonight and i'm gonna have a dog for the next week that's a sweet friday night for you <laughs> yeah it is i'm yeah. actually excited for it yeah that's what i'm missing in my life i need to love something i need to like have something to care for and you know that's when i was like a real good person i feel like now i'm getting back into my old ways american psycho Mm-hmm. Yeah, that and just doing bad shit. Like I, the what story. Did I tell bad? you the story the other day? The embarrassing story that happened to me yeah, yeah. when I was <laughs> I went food shopping. Yeah, what happened? I went to the supermarket to buy food that I was going to cook. Yeah. So I go get a bunch of shit, mm-hmm. and I go out. I'm going to put in, put it in my car, mm-hmm. and I remember that I didn't lock my car door. But mm-hmm. I was like, I'm just going in quick. I'm just grabbing a couple of things. I don't mm-hmm. really give a fuck. Mm-hmm. I come out, and there's a guy going through my car, like in my driver's seat going under the mat and with a flashlight and stuff Mm -hmm. so i take this as an opportunity like fine fucking i got him this is a bad guy this is my vigilante opportunity this is my batman moment i'm gonna fucking the shit out of me i was so excited so i put my shit (laughs) down i put down all my bags i creep up slow behind him you're so creepy and i'm like (laughs) hey buddy what the fuck do you think you're doing and he turns around and he's shocked obviously you know and he's like what the fuck? What the fuck? Fuck? Because I was like ready if he had a gun or, uh, you know, I was going to go at him, grab the gun, yeah. switch it around and fucking put yeah. it on him. Which or you if would he love. had a knife, You're I would have kicked it, you know? Yeah. So the guy's like, what the fuck? This is not your car. And then I look the next spot over and, and my car, it wasn't <laughs> my car. I have a Suburban. It's a popular Uber car. You know, it's it was not my car. And I felt so embarrassed. I was like, I'm so That's, sorry. I thought so it was like the pickup <laughs> truck. Like the fact that you were just like, this Suburban is mine. That almost makes me feel like you're looking to like. 
No, it's the exact no. car. It's the exact car. And the guy was... It yeah, was, do you know how common it Suburbans are? It was in the are? spot next to it. It was exactly... I feel like you're the type of person that like if someone... If you were in a situation where you had to kill someone, you would enjoy it. No. It, this was a bad guy robbing from me. We're in LA. It's the highest yeah, crime rate. Like if rate. it was a bad guy, you would enjoy killing him. Depends how bad. Child molester <laughs> bad. But like a lot of people, I feel like couldn't like stomach the idea of like stabbing someone, but you'd be like hard low key. So this happened recently to <laughs> to a UFC fighter. His uh, his kid got molested. Oh, Cain Velasquez. Cain Velasquez. And then he, did he kill the guy? I don't know if he killed him, but it was like attempted at murder. No, I think that's, that's right. Like definitely. Yes. I'm just saying like, there's a part of you psychologically that would be like into it. Well, do you have, like fe do you have fetishes like that? I don't have fetishes of it. I was fucking but a I guy like for a long time that had like a knife fetish. What? A knife fetish? Did he just like collector's items? Like No, like, like, like they want to like play with knives during sex. What the fuck? I wasn't doing it. I'm just saying. You got a knife on you, right? <laughs> I was about to text him. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Watch that. That's Steven. That's a real sword yeah take it easy with that <laughs> i thought we he was gonna pull out accidents. his little ones <laughs> oh my god yeah, yeah that's what i was talking I got another about one too. yeah this is what <laughs> i was doing my size <laughs> oh, oh fuck, fuck. i did up the wrong fucking way ow fuck. damn now i feel like he's gonna drink his blood you missed it thank you <laughs> all right a quick word from today's sponsors Kudos. If you guys know me, you know I love kudos. And if you shop online, you probably use an app to find the best coupons. And now you should also use kudos to get the most cash back. Kudos is a free shopping extension that not only helps you pick the best card to use at checkout, but also doubles your rewards on over 15,000 sites. That means if you usually get 3% back from your credit cards on StubHub, MeUndies, or even HelloFresh, you'll now earn 6% with kudos. That's basically free money. The best thing about Kudos is that it's easy to use. Add Kudos to Chrome or your iPhone in just a few clicks. Shop like normal and Kudos will automatically appear at the checkout to handle the rest. I was shopping on Amazon the other day and Kudos not only helped me get the most rewards, but it also reminded me about other hidden card benefits like purchase protection. This really is a no brainer. In fact, Kudos has saved the average user over $750 per year. Imagine all the things you could get with that. So don't wait. Use code Jeff to double your rewards and get kudos for free by going to joinkudos.com slash Jeff. That's joinkudos.com slash Jeff so they know I sent you. Earn more by doubling your rewards with kudos today. All right, now back on with the show. You want the weather? Yeah, let's, let's do the weather. Yo. What? Ah, uh, what's the what's the weather? Who cares? Just what's, give it to us. What's wrong? I read the comments on the last episode and nobody made a comment about me. <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing here. Everybody made comments about fucking Steven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well Steven was getting some some hate on him and we felt the need to address it, you know? Yeah, but but I try all these different weather segments and nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, this is the reverse psychology thing. You know? Nobody cares about me. I get to wake up whenever I want. I'm a boss. This is a hard watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know, do you, do you know what, why he's doing this? We went over the Reddit last episode, and I, I do need to apologize for the thumbnail. Apologize Everyone's to Mike. so mean to me on there. We put on the last thumbnail, Mike is back on drugs, and we put we like photoshopped <laughs> his face to be all fucked up, and we took his teeth out, and he woke up to it at like 7 a.m. was the first thing he saw when he started his day, and it was just, it made him really mad. So we had to change it back to like Mike met Hasbula or something, and it flopped after. But in the episode, we went over Reddit. We looked at the Reddit hate comments. Mike did like a 30 minute monologue, how you don't let the hate get to you or whatever. And Steven let the hate get to him. And he, he got emotional here on the show. I didn't. And then he got a bunch of love in the comments. People loved him. Yeah, and I didn't awesome. get a single one. <laughs> I forgot he was here. <laughs> a single one. Yeah. And nobody gives, I, nobody gives a fuck about me. I'm like disposable. I give a fuck do about Do better. You don't ever do the weather. You never, you never <laughs> <Nobody> once. <laughs> It doesn't matter, Jeff. The weather changes just like everything else in life. 
<laughs> Everyone's gonna leave you, and it doesn't matter. It's cloudy and it's rainy forever. From now on, that's the weather. It's rainy and it sucks, and you shouldn't go outside, and it's gray. It's a little try hard, right? I'm kind of into it, though. <laughs> this is a little try hard. That, I think he's too try hard lately. That's what the issue is. <laughs> he was just talking about him like no. <laughs> Steven, Steven just People shows up. You just want to be mean to me. That's all you want to do. This is what I'm talking about. Honestly, I kind of feel you. Why should I try with anything? This is the weather from now on. What's that in your hand? What's going to be? My what is drinking, it? My drinking cup. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, he's coming at you right now. It might be. Huh? He's coming at you. Oh. Did you not get that? Maybe if the, like, the, he said he was trying to like be more like, I thought No, he he's jealous of you, bro. He's jealous no, that you got I'm all the not. love in the comments. No, I'm not. I don't give a fuck. Who cares? Got the whole crowd laughing. <laughs> okay. I think it's funny, but I don't want to, I don't want to. <laughs> this is what you sounded like last episode, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> we just should have started with that. This is how you look. <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to show you how it felt as a as a listener. That was Are cool. you ever gonna do that shit again? I didn't know it was like a choice. It is what? It is a choice. Don't let it get to you, dude. You want okay. your sippy cup? You okay. <laughs> Baby turned David Goggins now. <laughs> Are we ever gonna do that again? Maybe if I get emotional again. No. Oh. We work for Jeff. No, that's not. I don't. I don't. I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, we're not allowed no, to show any emotion ever. Out of us. He'll beat the shit yeah, out. Yeah, you get strikes you know if this. you show any sort of emotion. That's not true. You really? <laughs> no, it's so true. You're the last person I would like ever cry to. By a raise of hand. I've cried more than everyone here. Everybody here. Everybody has seen me cry more. I just talked about crying, and I'm getting <laughs> like, hit yeah, me yeah, next time. Yeah, yeah. By a raise of hands, has Jeff striked you? No, put, put your hand down. <laughs> I have never, saying. never, Tana. <laughs> no. Yo, oh my god, that's such a good bit for me. I'm just gonna start <laughs> low key flinching around you, like in public <laughs> and like on camera. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine Tana, how funny. stop it. So, okay, whoa, all right, all right. Whoa, whoa. What is this? <laughs> whoa. Yeah. Enough. I allow people to have emotions. I encourage it. I say it here on the show. I've cried more than anyone here. I would never cry in front of you. We're lucky it's not a live stream right now. Or, I mean, you're lucky it's not a live stream right now. Brian, that was <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Who cares? Oh Who cares? God. You know, why don't you try to be a little nicer next time? I was. It's I'm like saying I don't get enough nice comments. I got them all the weeks before. I literally got them all the weeks before. You're kind of acting. You're kind of acting like how you're telling Steven not to act. Yeah. I'm just saying it would have been nice to have one last week. I was really expecting shut up, whore. <laughs> That's a response. No. I'm not Jeff. I'm not going to do that. I, I okayed this bit with both of you. Okay? <laughs> now you both have gone silent on it. Listen. Oh my God. Not my fault. <laughs> you both were like, yeah, do it. That'd be funny. I'm looking for a new weatherman. And fine, do it, dude. What this was want? this was a way of getting the audience to turn on you. So when when you go. We can hire you over at Cancelled. We'll have a weather segment over okay. there. They'll probably pay me better too. Alright, get him off. Get him off. See, everything he's saying is lies. We'll see you next week if you're lucky. If you're lucky. I'm gonna have a talk with Steven after this. What do you want? You want him back? Or you want to replace him? Huh? You want him back after that? Are you offended by that? <laughs> Not really. Everybody, um, leave your opinion down in the comments. Put, you know, a little greater than sign to Ryan or Steven. Whichever one you think is better. <laughs> Let's gamify it. Let's make a competition out of it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. There you People go. That's what right, they want. also do Tanner or Jeff in the comments. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no, let's no, do no, that. No, no. I hate seeing that on my own show. Here. It's... it's our show what now, the? technically sorry it does say that up there and i've always said that <laughs> the name on the wall look at it all right all right all right oh, I missed it. okay what's going on in the news Let's six nine right. got beat up six nine got beat up did you see that i didn't see that how what the fuck i don't, I don't really follow like six nine news like, it's like big um, news um, a rapper gets beat up he's a rat and the the streets got to him <laughs> it's funny because i mean it's not funny <laughs> People just jumping someone near death. Like it's funny because. Well, yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm a fan, 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 bro. I'm a He's at an LA Fitness by himself with no security. Why is he at an LA Fitness? That's. 
That's a good question. <laughs> Somebody That's... said, if you're at LA Fitness, you know it's like your first week back into the gym. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he gets fucking beat up. LA Fitness is out here are like scary. When I first moved out here, I was going to an LA Fitness and it's like, like, yeah. you know, I feel like homeless people use it as like a shower locker sitch. Like it's like a whole <laughs> thing, you know? Yeah, they, they yeah. got him good in there and they put they found the guy who did it, I mm -hmm. think, or they think they found the guy. <laughs> yeah. And I showed Cody that because I was like, Cody will find this interesting. He likes yeah. stuff like this. And he's like, yo, that's crazy. You think he got press off that? Do you think he get verified from that? That's where his <laughs> head went. Like, cause he know he tried to get verified once and they you have to show press, like articles, like I guess like I don't know. Yeah. A, a credible publication. Should we has get Cody to, verified? That sounds like such a fun week task for me. Yeah. Like get some fucking awful articles written up or like buy him verification. I just feel like how he'd act verified would be like so worth the work I'd put into getting him verified. Yeah, yeah. He's he, all he, about it. He texted me the other day. He's like, yo, like uh, the U.S. could uh, buy verifications now. Do you know how to do it? <laughs> oh, that's great. When I showed him the thing, he was like, he was like, yo. Can you get verified off that? Because if if you can, I'm about to just start beating up famous people and not <laughs> verified. He already Man. did that. He already did hit somebody on TMZ. Oh yeah, Cody. What? Yeah. Oh, no, no, honestly. Yeah, you never saw this video of him. No. This was like pre-jail, pre like. Well, not. I mean, like. I love when you ask me that. Like, I didn't like meet Cody here. Like, I've just known him for like five months. Yeah, yeah. It's Show on me. his Instagram. It's his last, like, his first <laughs> ever post. He posted it on Instagram. But that's it's, low key funny as fuck to like beat the shit out of someone and then post it on your own Instagram. Yeah, well, it's a TMZ video, and he was in the background, yeah. and he slapped some kid. And before you guys say, "Oh, it was fucking illegal," you dry snitching on yourself. It's statute of limitations. It's, yeah, it's way, way up. Come together. I've so seen this video. Happening? Yeah, and look. Who is this lady rapper? Look who's in the she's background. The she's on that show, Ridiculousness. She started a separate career now. She's a rapper. Chilling on the corner, giving TMZ a bonus. Judges, your thoughts? That's not so horrible. semi competent Wait, what? Praise indeed. But what? the point is, Chanel loves to rap. So much that she doesn't even notice the dude getting his clock cleaned right behind her. Yeah, that wasn't no word, but I'm so, Look at the kid in the LA app. <laughs> Boom, you heard him clap. Yeah, you know um, Chanel. <laughs> that was Cody. That's the most insane. Can we please remake Allegedly, it? Allegedly, that I mean that might have been Cody. That I want to remake that. I want to be Chanel West Cody. That's that's me and Ashley and rapping? you're in the back. Yeah. And I'm the who oh, I'm the guy that gets slapped. Yeah. No, I want to be Dexter. No, actually, I don't want to be involved with this. Or you we'll could have just like slap me, you know, because that's clearly what I you don't like this new bit that you're doing. <laughs> This domestic violence bit. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's it's no okay, good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So yeah, that's it. That's the. That's what. Um... <laughs> Woo! Oh, sorry. Look, I like it. You two banding to get together. We're friends. Me. We're friends. So yeah, that was Cody about boys. eight nine years ago. <laughs> the staff is becoming friends. <laughs> I'll allow it. What we're are gonna, your thoughts? We're gonna form a union. You surprised? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if all of us sorry, please stop talking to me seriously. If all of us <laughs> if all of us like imagine like we all go on strike. Like how fun that would be. We all get drunk. We get like, I'll, I'll drunk. come in here and do this show by myself. I'll do it better than ever. I've been doing my Patreon lives just with a laptop. They love them way more. Yeah. I'll fucking I'll be fine. Yeah. Been wiping your own ass, slaying, doing everything on I'm your own. good, yeah. Actually, I could never personally, you know. I'll restart just me and I mean, Oscar, are you doing this too? Are you leaving too? Yes. Uh, it depends. Today's episode is sponsored by Mud Water. Mud Water is a coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and ayurvedic herbs. With only a fraction of caffeine as a cup of coffee, you get energy without the jitters or crash of coffee. Mud Water leans on mushrooms in their blend of matcha and their blend of chai for sustained energy. Each ingredient was added for a purpose. Lion's mane, that's a mushroom, for alertness. Cordyceps to help support physical performance, chaga and reshi to support your immune system, turmeric for soreness, and cinnamon for antioxidants. I love the lion's mane. It just gets me alert. It gets me focused. If I'm having a, a kind of like a little brain fog, it just gets me sharp in here. And, you know, I don't get all jittery and anxious. It's the perfect thing for me in podcasting. Mud is 100% USDA organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, and kosher certified. Mudwater donates monthly to leading psychedelic research centers as Mudwater believes the country is in a mental health epidemic. 
and sees psychedelics as useful tools for individuals with depression, PTSD, anxiety, and other mental health problems. Go to mudwater.com slash Jeff to support the show and use code JeffFM for 15% off. That's code JeffFM for 15% off at mudwater.com slash Jeff. All right, now back on with the show. I have some pop culture news for you. Okay. But this is huge. And you have to know what this means for the girlies, okay? So we talked before previously about Selena versus Haley. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, it was kind of like a a struggle, a thing, because it's like Justin wasn't really defending Haley, so everyone was kind of like, you know what I mean? And people were kind of wondering up in the air, like, is Selena low-key vibing with all these people kind of, ha- like, hating on Haley? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, your ex probably. is new, bitch. Blah, blah, blah. Like, it... You know, and there was a point where everyone was hating on Haley. And That's got to feel a little good, you know? I, I, yeah. I mean, it, until it gets too far. Like, it, a, a joker here or two is funny, but, like, people were really, like, it's bad. Like, it's, like, been really bad. And Selena posted an Instagram story today saying, Haley reached out to me. She's getting death threats. Please stop death threatening her. So this might be the end of the haley Selena feud. Well, what, what will we do then? I don't how know. Will we, how will we live? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whose team are you? You're we're team Selena. But have you done your research? I mean, what's what's there to do? She dated him, and now like kind of he kind of flip flop both of them. But there's Haley's done a lot of things that the internet kind of thinks is like shade towards Selena. Like people think Haley's kind of a mean girl shading Selena. How? <laughs> what is there? This is all. Wait, Kyle. Yeah, Kyle, I was say, send Oscar Kyle. the PowerPoint. So when we were in Miami, you were out at the club. Yeah. And me, Kyle, and Paige sat in my room for like two hours probably. And we just got stoned out of our minds. And I educated Kyle with a PowerPoint on the television <laughs> from like top to bottom, beginning of the Haley Selena feud, all the way to like current day, present day. <laughs> Tell us, Kyle, okay. Kyle, literally I'll give you a thousand dollars. Tell <laughs> us something that Haley did to Selena. Haley to Selena. Yeah, something Haley did to Selena. Um, they have the same tattoos in the same spot that Selena got first. Um, is it a common tattoo? Like people just, well, he's, he's, you know, airing that like people are noticing that a lot of things Selena has done. Haley's kind of copied or oh, like her cooking. Oh, Cause she was a fangirl initially, right? Yeah. There, and there's photos oh, of yeah. her, like with magazines like, of Selena and she'd tweet about Jelena and yeah, she'd tweet about it. She's seen way back in the day, like in the shadow of Justin on a red carpet with her and Justin's like talking about Selena or something like that. Right. Oh my god, keep going. Um, One more. Fuck. I'm gonna come. <laughs> Jesus. Mm, I can't remember like any more, but I was just at a SZA concert and SZA posted on her story that she like reposted that Selena, I'm sorry, Haley, Justin, and Kylie were at the concert and she put on her story, damn, if I would have known they were out there, I wouldn't have came out. So like more shade on top of that. So what happened now? They're good? They squashed it? I think this could be the end of the Haley versus Selena Dramageddon because Selena... It put the girlies to rest today. Well, that's not up to them to decide, you know? That's for I the fans so. if they want to keep running with it. Because, you know, Justin, when he walks past respect. paparazzi and stuff, he's like, I don't want any drama. Just fucking leave me alone, you yeah, know? Yeah, but they respect what Sel- Selena's wishes, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, Haley followed Selena's friends and, like, hung, hung out with Selena's friends, too. Remember that? Did you show me that I've, I've never been so proud. Like, you're always <laughs> talking about Kyle being your protege. That's my <laughs> motherfucking protege back there. You hear this shit? Yeah. That's beautiful. You know, Selena's friend gave her a kidney. Yeah. Do you remember that? And then, oh my God, what happened? Hold, hold on. Like she gave her a kidney and then Selena like. If you needed a kidney, who would you ask? <laughs> you. For real? I, mean, I think you need a woman's old, kidney. You're like, you know, like you don't. That, why would you want an old, dusty it's old kidney? like you're going to croak soon. Like I'll take your kidney. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm kidding. So Actually, who would I ask for a kidney? Probably like Amari. Steven. Amari He's got, it, his piss is flowing clear. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's, he's got two good working kidneys. That's what your kidneys do, right? They filter your piss, your bladder. Your colon. I'm asking you. That was you. your liver. That was your colon. Liver filters um, things to your blood. I think. I don't know. Actually, that's. I think you're right, Kyle. That's your colon. Colon. Oh, that's your. Poop. That's poop. So basically, she gave her the kidney, and then after the girl gave the kidney, was kind of posting like, "I don't really fuck with being friends with celebrities and the cool girls and blah blah blah." And like, apparently, they had a falling out like after the kidney, but now they're good. Oh yeah. Yeah. She gave her kidney for clout. <laughs> No, I shouldn't say that's that. That's some shit I would up. do. That's, that's, that's some shit I would do. Let's be real. Would you give Selena your kidney if she asked? Maybe. What about Paris Hilton? Absolutely. <laughs> if she was like, I need both. No, I think you die. Yeah, I think you die. 
for sure. Who would you ask for a kidney? Deadass. Brody Jenner. <laughs> Probably got the same kind as me. Yeah. Or it's a good, young, healthy person. Tommy Lee. No, he's old and did tons of drugs. <laughs> Have you seen the his fuck? dick? <laughs> it's Tommy giant. Lee. Do you know he Instagram recently within the last year he Instagram grid posted his dick. <laughs> did he? Yeah. <laughs> and like then naked he posted just bro. his dick. Giant. Did he get? Did he get? Can Taken I show down? you? Yeah, yeah, Dude, of course. Okay, yeah. Huge, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then he posted his nuts I've on Twitter, the, too. I've seen the <laughs> Pam Anderson, Tommy Lee sex tape, of course, and I've seen Have the you? show. I've never seen it. Why haven't I? I'll pull it up. Watch it here for all the kids. <laughs> Honestly, please. You've never seen the sex tape? No. I feel like you, you're you going to make one after, for sure. Cam Quarter oh my in God, the 90s. Oh, God, this. Okay, what a fucking nut job. I <laughs> see it. It's kind of dope, legend, though. Bro. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. legendary. It sucks that that's, like, innately the type of person I'm attracted to. I'm like, he could post his dick. That's so sick. Yeah. Like, you're never going to find love, Dana. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I, my God. I, I interrupted your story before about um this guy. So what happened? The tattoo guy from TikTok. Oh, I just, like, I made the world find him. Like, do you know Wolfie Cindy? Yeah. Do you know how she became famous? No. Justin Bieber grid posted oh, yeah, a yeah, selfie yeah. of her yeah. and said, like, where is this girl? So I was like, I'm going to have my Justin Bieber, Wolfie, Cindy moment today. And then I found him. And he's Russian and speaks no English and has two kids. And he also, I DM'd him and he hasn't responded, so. Oh, yeah. How embarrassing is that? I like fucking him posting on my story. Well, how like, are who is this TikTok old line? I DM him. He hasn't fucking, he doesn't fucking. <laughs> so embarrassing. He probably don't understand it. He's probably gonna get I debated a Google translating it. I debated saying some crazy shit oh, in Russian. Oh yeah, yeah. You and should also send it in Russian just yeah. so he could see he has two options. But I really don't need that as well. Like another face tattooed man. Everyone was kind of saying that he looks like a combination of like all my exes in one. So maybe I just he also has yeah. the words hardcore vibes across his forehead. And for me, it really in is, English? In English. So I that's guess why. that's like when when Americans get like Chinese symbol tattoos. <laughs> that's the equivalent, but on his forehead. It's crazy to me that like I'm, I judge a face tattooed person off of what they are. Like if they're tasteful face tattoos, it's like way hotter to me. Like regardless, it's like yeah, still just words across your forehead, you know? Uh, did you find that uh, video on Corey's <laughs> oh, Instagram? I can't find it. It's the first one he ever posted. Oh, on Instagram. Scroll Oscar. all the way down. Do you want to talk about TikTok? Do I want to talk about TikTok? The ban. People, oh, are they banning it? Charlie D'Amelio's dad tweeted that he's gathering investors to buy TikTok. Oh, Mark would run it good. He really won. Damn, I hope he does that. But also, I don't care if it gets banned. I care. You're fine over here, <laughs> Steven. I told you I'll take you in ever since you pissed in your mouth. I got you for life. <laughs> uh, do you want to watch this? Sure, yeah. Like, Steven, what if you wanted a job like this? Like this? Yeah. I don't know. Uh-uh. Can you say with 100% certainty that TikTok does not use the phone's camera to determine whether the content that elicits a pupil dilation should be amplified by the algorithm. Can you tell me that? We do not collect body, face, or voice data to identify our users. But do you we use do the camera? The, the, the only you, you don't? The, no. The only face data that you get, that we collect, is- Bro, I you told you they've been filming you jerking off, Steven. Face, we need to know where your eyes are. <laughs> Why do you need to know where the eyes are if you're not seeing if they're dilated? And, and that data is stored on your local device and deleted after use if you use it for facial. Again, we do not collect body, face, or voice data to identify our users. I find that hard to believe. It's our understanding that they're looking oh, at Oh, I hate eyes. this man. How do you determine what- This guy? <laughs> I hate him. Um, what do you mean? He's fighting for your data. That's our key no, he, I don't think he is. Dating, which is when you ask I think he wants to ban it. Age they are. We have also developed some tools where we look at their public profile um, to go through the videos that they post to see whether- Boy, that's creepy. Tell me more about that. I hate him so, I hate him so, so much. You post a video that's no, he's right. That you don't think it's public, creepy that people are using their camera to look at you right now? See your video. I just know he like- He just admitted to it. He just admitted that we're- we, He didn't say no, we're not. He was like, yes or no, are you using the cap? Okay, stop it, stop it. <laughs> Listen to this. Jeff's gonna hit me. Do, you <laughs> Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand what, what this guy's saying right now? You don't like his tone. But I don't like his tone. I don't like his accent. This man just clearly fucking explained that they only use the eye recognition filters for like sunglasses to like see where they go on the face. You and believe then he's that? Like, what he, it, are you saying? No, they're <laughs> using it. they're using the camera to spy. And he just gives like cousin fucker. And not all Southern people give cousin fucker, okay? I'm saying him specifically, like in euphoria, you know, like the husband who's like secretly like 
a little fruity, a little footy. Like he gives that. I don't like him. Do you even um, give a fuck about your data? <laughs> You're just gonna say, do you even give a fuck? <laughs> I was like, not at all. Do you? <laughs> yes, no, do you even? give a fuck about yes. your data? <laughs> yes. They do not. Bro. Honestly, I wish they did because then it's like I would look up what makes people's pupils dilate and I'd be on TikTok doing it, you know? Like if anything, it would help me. Oh, to hack the algorithm? You know? So you could be like, oh, this one's getting pupils dilated. Uh -huh. This one's the, the good one. Mm -hmm. I don't think you guys understand. You can ruin somebody's life if Bro, you but, have everything that's, that's on That's not just their TikTok. Phone. That's like every social media network. Yeah, what? So, but like you don't think you don't think Instagram, Strava's you don't think in your data. You don't think Instagram's Strava's not doing that shit. Bro, Actually, Strava knows location. exactly where I'm taking off for my runs, my heart rate. Yeah, they know if I can. Oh, it's because Strava isn't a Chinese app. That's Ooh. what I'm fucking saying, Kyle. Ooh. Strava's not on the stand here. Okay, <laughs> nobody gives a fuck about what Strava's doing. <laughs> This guy's sketchy. He didn't answer yes or no. They were like, yes or no. Are you using the fucking cameras to film Steven Jerk off? Because it's not a yes or no <laughs> question. No. Like, but it's huh? not a yes or no question. He said no. They only use it for the filters and then it deletes. Okay, real quick. I'd like to thank today's sponsors. Rocket Money. Just a few months ago, I was going over my finances as I do every year. And I noticed that I was spending a lot of money on things that I just wasn't using and didn't even know that I was paying for still. Like YouTube TV, for instance, I was paying 50 bucks a month for it. I never even knew that I had it. That's 600 bones a year. I was blowing on something that was a complete waste. And thanks to Rocket Money, I no longer do stuff like that. The average person has around 12 paid subscriptions. Think about that. If you think you're only subscribed to a handful of services, you might want to double check. With Rocket Money, you can identify and cancel all of your unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money takes care of it for you. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills all in one place. Over 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about, like that streaming service you bought to watch just one show or that free trial that you never even used. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel and Rocket Money will take care of the rest for you. No more long hold times of customer service or tedious email and back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as a click of a button. Stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash jefffm. That's rocketmoney.com slash jefffm. Thank you Rocket Money for sponsoring the show. Now let's get back on with it. Does it just scare do you a little like Oscar's been doing canceled for me? Do you want to? Can I can I ask you a question? Sure. Okay. But I might sound insane. What's new? <laughs> it's so fucking true. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to sound insane. <laughs> so Oscar was at my house mm -hmm. shooting canceled, right? And I started talking about how I have a like a fuck buddy right now since I've been single. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, I have this fuck buddy. Like, it's so good. Blah, blah, blah. And my fuck buddy was over. I think this was last <laughs> night. He was at my house. And I was looking at his Instagram activity as everyone does with their fuck buddies. What, like who he searches No, for? like it, like who just followed him, like whatever. And you followed him out of the blue. I followed him? You followed my fuck buddy randomly. Oh, I followed him back because he followed me. I know who you're talking about. We met him. We met him. Together. Yeah. yeah. Well, I already knew him, but... Well, I went into did my... Did you follow him? Why did you follow him? Because I went into my verified uh, notifications and I saw that he started following me and I was like, who the fuck is this kid? And then I was like, oh, he's a nice kid. I'll follow him back. So Oscar's not coming back and giving you intel from Cancelled? No. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> not that. What do you think? You think Just I'm imagine not me like laying in bed with someone after sex and I'm like looking at their phone and it's like, Jeff followed. <laughs> oh, damn. That does look nuts. <laughs> like you're insane. But we did meet him together. Yeah. So you got you had to know, like, maybe it's from this. Yeah. That is creepy looking, though. Like, I really am fucking obsessed, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Keep dreaming. You guys are all fucking insane. <laughs> he followed me. I was just doing the right thing, following him How back. How many people does Jeff follow on Instagram? Thousands. I don't care. I don't worry about ratios. I'm not 17. <laughs> That's such a high school thing. Anybody. To like so you weren't being crazy? Uh, no, I wasn't. Okay. I'm not following... I kind of loved like the idea of that though. I was like, I'm run with it. Jeff's being Fucking, crazy. Yeah, I, you know, it goes along with all your other theories that you have in your head about <laughs> me. You know, your fuck buddy. Your <laughs> your fuck buddy. It's been two days you've been single. Your fuck buddy. I've been single for longer than two days. Okay.
What was the deal breaker with him? I just really didn't like long distance. Vegas, it's but like half hour flight. I mean, yeah, but that's still like a lot. Private jet for you? Like you don't you don't get to sleep in the same bed. You have to be on Facetime all the time. It's like I'm not a like I don't want to text all day. Like how's your day? Like I just want to like be able to see you later. uh, And it's just like not. It's you know what I mean. Um, but I've never had like an amicable, sweet, really nice breakup until this guy, I think I have, but like this one was just so nice. It was like, we were talking about like Starbucks orders. We were just like, yeah, it's not working. Oh yeah. So he kind of, he might've sensed it coming. I feel like, yeah, (laughs) I like to plant seeds, you know? Yeah. That's I went on Brianna chicken fries podcast. And I thought it was going to come out in like three. I'm a psycho, fucking sociopath. Well, you even did admitting the TikTok this. and the TikTok where well, you. Well, no, were... but that was yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I went on Brianna's chicken fries podcast like five fucking like seven days ago or whatever. And I thought it was going to come out in like three weeks. And I was like, yeah, like I think I'm single because I thought I was going to have time to like break up with him. And then it would like go and I sound insane. Yeah, that's um, scary. That's yeah. <laughs> scary for a guy to date you, Tana. Um, if you but just then it came out the next the day. Next... So I had to break up with him. The next day, you're going to be on TikTok to millions and millions of people talking about Say how I'm you- single. I didn't, I'm not going to say anything bad about him. Like, if I go to Vegas, I'll see him. Like, we're, you know, like, we're, we're going to be great friends forever. Well, He's how, best friends with my best friend. I'll probably, like, always see how him. How old is he? 22. Oh, yeah? We're young. Yeah. He's yeah, young. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I thought he was older because he was sounding mature. Pretty and, mature. Has his life together, shit in order, you know? But yeah. it is what it is. Well, I couldn't. Figure it out to move out and be closer to you. And that's the thing too with long distance. It's like you go into it immediately thinking like one of us is gonna have to move. And that's a crazy precedent to like begin something new with. Yeah, and it kind of makes things more fun when it's like not things aren't working out. You gotta like force it to happen, you know? <laughs> not force it. Like the universe stop it. Stop it. Like the universe isn't allowing it. Like yeah. maybe you have like a friend in between and it's like not right. Yeah. That makes it a little more fun. I love that. That's true. When something's <laughs> yeah, like a little just, wrong. Like, oh, love it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I am trying to write off of that. Like I, I I made a resolution this year that I will no longer hook up with people I work with. You know? That's good. You know YouTube used to be a dating app. Really? It's yeah. kind of been a dating app for me over the years. Really? Yeah. Nice. Nice uh, one. <laughs> that was good. True. Can I tell you a random fun fact that mm-hmm. I just learned? If you got all the termites in the world together and you weighed them, it would weigh more than all the people in the world weighed together. You know that elephants wow. can't jump? Elvis can't jump. Elephants can't jump. Well, Elvis is dead. Elephants. <laughs> Let's go back to that first you think fact. Elvis, was Elvis hot? Elvis was so hot. Really? Austin Butler as Elvis. Like I almost but not, not him. had a fucking... Maybe the, 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 the real OG. Elvis. Yeah. Yeah. I love a musician, one. you know? Mm-hmm. You know, I make music. Hey. The real Elvis <laughs> or Austin know. Butler? Huh? The real Elvis Both or hot. Austin Austin Butler? Pick one. You can only pick one. Well, what do you mean? Like to bring Elvis back from the dead or like yeah. pick one? Yeah, in his prime. Well, imagine I chose Austin Butler over bringing Elvis back. Like then I'm just like, you know. You I would think pick Elvis. Austin I Butler. Would pick, I would pick Elvis. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Come on. I believe it. I, I just want to preface this question by saying I truly don't know. Um, did Elvis die from abusing opioids? I think so. Yeah. Look at this. What if I do this backwards? I actually love that. That's my favorite trend on guys right now. Oh, a fitted? I just went on a date with a guy and he was like wearing a hat like that. And I was like, Ooh, how do you have the time for all this? (laughs) I'm trying to build back up, you know? Mm -hmm. No, I'm really not actually. I think I'm going to be single all year and be pretty Should we take a caller? I think we should take a caller. We'll get another date. Yo. Yo. Hi. What's up? What's going on, bro? Welcome to Jim. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, thank you. Good. How are you doing? Good. You want to do just audio? Um, you you want me to show my face? I'm scared, dude. I mean, are you gonna do a confession or is this just like an oh, advice fuck. call or what? what well, I'll what, do a confession. Oh, oh, fuck! Turn it off. We'll cut it. We'll, I'm we won't fucked. show you. I'm fucked. No, yeah. no, no. Turn it off and we'll no, cut. No, 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 we'll no, no, cut no, no, your no, face we'll so that block, it's a erases real... his face from your brain. Absolutely. I don't okay. remember. All right. Let's do the confession. It's been a while since we did one of these. We're going to be leaving this studio soon and going to another one. We start a new show eventually. Um, leaving? Well, for our show. So Tana will never be in here again oh. once that happens. Okay. Th- th- this confession does have a little bit to do with Tana. I didn't know she was going to be there. Fucked. I'm kind of nervous now. <laughs> I'm the 22 year old. <laughs> I'm so excited to hear it. How well, old are you first? We were just, we were just, I'm, yeah, how old are you? I'm 25. Hell yeah, dude. I, I, we I'm were not just, too far away from you guys. I'm in like Costa Mesa. We okay. were just talking about how maybe I would find love on the confession. So <laughs> this is kind of a, of a lovely story. Tell me. So Oscar's, la- Oscar's laughing like he knows something. <laughs> Am I on punk right now? Okay, go ahead. 
Sorry. No, no, it has to do a little bit with work, a little bit with Tana, a little bit with hands. Okay, I'm ready. So, you know, okay. one morning, um, I, you know, morning wood for men. It's a regular, <laughs> normal thing. Yeah. And I hopped on fans and uh, I'm a paid subscriber to Tana's OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Which one? Tana Uncensored or Tana Gone Wild? Uncensored. Okay. Okay. So... Um, I was taking care of business, laying down in bed, you know, morning wood. I, I was still Jesus, in bed. Oh. And let's just say it's, it had been a minute, so I had a load. It's 9-11. Yeah. Oh. Hey, okay. hey 9-11. Yeah. Sorry, sorry about your mom and Hassan. But, um, thanks, thanks, bro. <laughs> go, on, go on with the story. Yeah, tell uh, us about your so twin it tower. It shot up, <laughs> and it got into my eye, my left eye. Oh. And then it just got super red and shit, and I was trying to wash it off, and it was before work. So you were so watching, it, like... You were looking at my nudes with one eye. You're like, Jeff. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, similar. Well, I, at that point, I had stopped, you know? Yeah. Post not clarity. Yeah. Did you think and, of Jeff? Uh, think yeah, of Jeff? my think eye Jeff? was just like super... <laughs> what? Did you think of Jeff? Were you like, oh, my God, I'm just like him for <laughs> yeah, real? I thought, I thought of Jeff right you now. Related, you related to me after? <laughs> yeah. And then I, I, then I watched the documentary, and I felt a lot better. <laughs> It's honestly, but, but, yeah. but people but, uh, say we don't have the same demographic. Look at that! Like that's fucking that's awesome. So you were cranking it to Tana, huh? You were cranking it over there. Your uh, sub, uh, Jeff yeah. might get jealous. He's a little fucking weird. You know? No, no, no. no. I, I'm just curious about you know who these subscribers are and and you know since when did they first sub and you know what type of content line, is being posted over there because I don't know. You know, I'm not. I'm not a. You want you want my password for research purposes? We might need that. Actually, Steven okay. subscribed before, so I was able to take oh, a peek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drop you some content. No, Bottom you did. Line, you did. I told you I, was, I told you I would send no, you the I money. Never did that. I told you I was gonna send you Steven, a Venmo. You did. I didn't do that. that. <laughs> we did. I think we filmed it. I think we showed everybody. <laughs> I don't remember that. But <laughs> we did it for research. Can you tell me what you were jacking off to? <laughs> this, this, this point of the story isn't like the Tana part. It's what the, are you into, bro? You you're a tip man. Are you a tip man or an ass man? Work. You had to call out of work? I'm so sorry. It's for a good yeah, cause. Yeah, you ruined my bag. Yeah. Damn. You helped mine. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> um, what was it? What were you jacking off to? Do you remember? Uh, No. No, 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 I don't. You know, bro. Yeah, tell us. It's not a big deal. It, it might have been your tits. In my <laughs> for research purposes. There we go. <laughs> nice, huh, Stephen? Nice. Well, I'm really sorry that that happened to you. You know, I'm. I hope you had some sick days, man. That you could... Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Some some PTO covered it, so we're all yeah. good. Oh my god, that's that's yeah. a dream. That's a dream. <laughs> hey, do you ever get messaged by uh, any of your OnlyFans subscriptions? Like, do they ever talk to you? Have I ever messaged you? I don't think you have. Like, you actually, you probably not. On my fans, yeah. I was just curious. Like send an extra twenty for a surprise or something, you know? Is it? You ever it get it's one never of, worth it, you know. It's never worth it. I oh. beg to differ. <laughs> I'm really? Right. I'm really enough enough selling it right now. No, no, no. Enough of this. Can you give me a promo code? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like the last four digits of your card number. This is the yeah. security code. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you for your service. Uh, th thank you, guys. <laughs> sorry about uh, your eye. Hey, no, no worries. Yeah, I'm sorry about it's your eye. <laughs> It's good. Thank you for the documentary, Jeff. Uh, it really helped through those hard times. You're not I gonna, appreciate it, bro. What about me? <laughs> hey, thank you for your thank you for your content, Tana. Anytime, sweetheart. I hope your eye gets better. All right, bro. Thank thanks, you. Thanks for calling in. That story was, you know, we worked up the courage to tell it, and we really appreciate it. You know, <laughs> and, and also you face. showed your face first too, which is absolutely <laughs> crazy. <'cause laughs> yeah, make sure to cut that shit. Yeah. That, honestly, I don't care. Yeah, you know, I don't care. No, um, no, I kind of do care. You're right yeah, next to my okay. church. All right, dude. you sick fuck. All right, <laughs> I'm going to I'm church. Into the, I'm, I'm into that right now. It to Tana. Hey, see ya. Tana uncensored. Mm -hmm. All right, bro. Love you. Know? you. Yeah, he's off. Damn. Oh my god. Was that a real story? <laughs> yeah. He jerked off into his own eyeball. From Tana porn. Tana porn is crazy. Tana porn. <laughs> what? <laughs> and he wouldn't admit it. Oh my god, that's wild. Have you ever came in your own eye? No. Have you? You obviously <laughs> came <laughs> in your own eye. I don't even Many times. <laughs> 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 do you want to do another one yeah 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 let's do another one. Oh, the church shit was crazy i'm going to church this wednesday 
For real? Yeah, with my fuck buddy. Oh, because he's they're religious. Yeah. I like, yeah. That's funny. That's going to be really funny. What are you going to wear? I don't know. <laughs> what should I wear? Like a church outfit? Just, yeah, some modest shit. Maybe some lingerie underneath. We'll knock it all out one day. Wow. Damn, that's funny. That's fucked up, though. To like, you know. What church are you going to go to? Is it like a real church or is it like an L.A. like clout church? I don't actually know. I think it's an L.A. clout church. But he also goes to Bible study. He'll be like, I can't come over till like 11. I have Bible study. <laughs> what is the L.A. clout church? Like there's this church called Church Home that like all the celebrities go to. A lot of people just go to like see the celebrities. Yeah, like Justin Bieber's in there oh dancing, God. and I'll get That's up and so perform. I can't dope. lie. Like I've gone, I've gone, so I've gone for dope. God, and I've gone, you know. George Jenko's out in front handing out flyers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, he asked me to be on his podcast right of after course, you. You yeah, think yeah. he's trying to leave impulsive for us? I don't know. It's weird because all the comments were like, you could tell George is like fucking over this shit. Mm -hmm. He's you know. Um, I don't know. He's got his own thing going now, so we'll see. We went over there and we stopped at Walgreens first and Stephen was buying a, a, a coloring book. <laughs> I love coloring books. And... I just got a Peppa Pig one. Oh yeah, you love Peppa oh. Pig. I love Peppa Pig. Do I'm gonna like do painting? a I but love I paint. I like painting in the coloring books. Do you? Yeah. Watercolor? We should do that sometime. Yeah. Can we like uh never mind, I don't know where I was going with that. What are they called? The, uh, paint by oh, number. Canvas. No canvases. We do, oh, like, and the paint. Canvases. Yeah, and paint. I am so. We do that at my at it has, Ashley's it has house. some dizzies. You can come. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's take this caller. Hey. Hi. Hi. Okay, this is my first time using Zoom. I'm so sorry. Hi guys. Hi. 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 How are you? I'm great. How are you? Really good. We're just chilling over here. We just had a rogue ass confession, so we're excited for yours uh, too. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh wait. Hi, Tana. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hi, gorgeous girl. So, I used to be on Tinder years ago. I wasn't really big in, onto like hookups and stuff like that. Yeah. I was chatting with this guy. This was when I was like 20 years old. I was trying to like vibe it out. And he wanted to come over like after a day of chatting. I'm like, okay, mm, maybe. He drives down on a random fucking Tuesday, like okay. a three our drive all the way to my place i skip class for this guy he comes into my place and we start hooking up it's normal it's whatever okay also we lived in florida so it's like 90 degrees out he shows up in like a suit no ac in his car he is like this big sweaty hairy guy it's just cody i'm, I'm going to on him puts my head down towards his balls no this way point, i'm like okay this is weird I start whatever going down there. Then he proceeds to put his feet on my shoulders in a birthing position. <laughs> and he goes, Oh, I don't know if I can say this word. He's like, Oh, like my taint. I go, What? I didn't say no. I I did it. And I probably shouldn't have. In that moment, he then pushed my head down lower. Oh. And I, this was like my first time ever eating ass. And it was the grossest thing. He did not shower. It was sweaty. Oh. It was oh. <laughs> oh, um, tough. I immediately after he <laughs> left, my, we went and got Chipotle. And then oh. he off and I blocked his number and I never <laughs> talked. Did he I eat your ass? No, after that, I was like, okay, it's, let's get out of here. And I never talked to him again. I didn't know what to do. I'm sorry, <laughs> girl. That's that's a tough sitch. <laughs> Maybe he like, should get oh. like wet wipes and bring him around if he's like really into uh, that, you know? Never. And having a man in the full birthing position traumatized me. The feet on the shoulders. And he was a big, hair, hairy guy. <laughs> Did he shave? No, it was like 2 p.m. on a random Tuesday. All hum None of the humid out. You know, we all need that random Tuesday, 2 p.m. nasty ass hey. eat, like once in our lives to know that, you know, it's not what we want. I I don't know, actually. I uh, Yeah. <laughs> I'm like trying to <laughs> Have you tried other dating apps? Maybe it's a dating app That's the quality of the man that you're finding Have you used Summer? It's a much better quality dating app Quality people Not looking for just hookups and ass eating You know <laughs> Um. You know what Jeff? I'll give it a try for you Thank you I'm on He's there. on there He's on there And he also is like super into that Like after the podcast Sometimes he's like Can you lick my tank before you go? Get the fuck out and of I here I eat Jeff's ass And then yeah You know me personally I, I never uh, I never requested that to happen You know but It's interesting that there's people out there like that It definitely gives Steven and I the confidence To go on more dates with women Knowing that we don't do stuff like that You know The worst uh -huh. thing The 
most fucked up thing you've ever done on a date, like you screwing up and doing something embarrassing, just think it could be much worse. Yeah. You could be that guy. So if you listeners at That's home, true. you know, just give yourself a pat on the back. Unless you've done some scummy shit like that. Literally know? scummy shit. Kind of rock and roll, Ugh. you know? Yeah. yeah. Kind of like, What's well, rock and roll? That. Not this guy. <laughs> not this. Not this guy. Kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. He don't have AC in his car. Yeah, it's like rock and roll. It's like no rock, rock and roll. You got the nasty, money. You would right? have like, like a fucking. See limousine. now when he puts it that way, I'm like, yeah, kind of. No, a rock yeah. and roll guy Put would be in the, in the back of a the... limo, like fucking come in here. He's gonna be skinny, no no hair on him, shaved, tattooed. You know, that's rock and roll. Coke. This guy sounded <laughs> like he was thinking. delivering Postmates, and then he just want. <laughs> he's a sick fuck that's into and Chipotle after his rogue. At least it wasn't Chipotle before, for your sake, though, girly. <laughs> that poor victim the next night after that Chipotle. We love you. <laughs> 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 We're really proud of you. <laughs> love you, Dana. Thank you guys for having. Me. Uh, thank you. That was really sweet. Anytime, thank you for girl. calling in Bye. and sharing that. You are forgiven. That that is gone now. It's off your record since Absolutely. you confessed it here on Jeff FM. Gotta repent. Rough. Was I harsh on her? No. No. I don't think so. I think it, you know we had a pretty normal reaction to what it was. Yeah. These people were these were dark. I appreciated them both. Very dirty. Yeah. It's just yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess that's what a confession is. Yeah. Something you don't want to tell anyone, you know. You wanna try a confession to me right now? <sighs> <laughs> you're gonna do it Whoa. i don't have one i don't think you got a lot of balls even going for it in a room full of guys and you're just as gonna, a woman as a woman yeah you're yeah. about to open up and tell can i drive myself to dinner in your car do you want to go right now do you have to get out of here well i was gonna confess something confess something and then we'll wrap it up <laughs> i so, have nothing i'm sorry so cut you, that okay. i'm really sorry i'm so like i was gonna go into the hole you know Oh, Jeff, I fucking love you. Oh, man, Marry me. Fine. Tommy, it's Pam. It's just, it's dead. It's tired, you know? I know. It's the end of the day. We got to do these earlier. We're going to set a day to do our show yeah. this week, this coming week, first yes, episode. Yes, I'm excited for Friends with Benefits. I'm excited for our show. I don't, I think I'm the only one who is. <laughs> <laughs> what, you think I'm not excited for it? I don't think you're excited for our show. I just don't know about the name. See? I don't know if I love the name 100%. But you know what? You're, whatever you say is right. And it's fine. That's what we'll go with. So in love with me. <laughs> We're changing the name. <laughs> don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know if, if DV with benefits. Domestic violence. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I've been thinking. Mm -hmm. You know what's a better name for what? a podcast? He used to be out on the corner. He was dealing in drugs. Got himself a barber's chair and gave us some cuts. Now he's a podcaster. His life, he'll talk about it with us. And now it's Jeff FM. Jeff